Welcome to the 21st century. The earth isn't round anymore because it never was, because it's flat. Let me enlighten you about the flat earth theory. You can see here what the flat earth really looks like. The North Pole is actually in the center of the flat disk earth. And Antarctica is a 200 foot tall wall of ice that surrounds the entire perimeter of the flat earth. It's not some landmass at the bottom of an imaginary globe. There is so much deception and misunderstanding that hides this truth from people. You can totally prove the earth is flat when you research flight patterns. For example, on October 13th, 2015, a flight from Taiwan to LA, a woman's water broke. She gave birth, so they had to make an emergency landing. Where do you think they landed? Alaska. If the earth was round, they never would have landed in Alaska because according to this flat map of the round earth, you can see that they'd have to go further out of their way to land in Alaska compared to just going to LA. Why did it land in Alaska? Because if you look at a flat earth map, you'll see that Alaska is directly in between Taiwan and LA. There's no explanation for this other than the fact that the earth is flat. I think it's cute that some people think the earth has curvature to it, but I can disprove these ideas in a heartbeat. If the earth was round, you couldn't see anything in the distance because of the curvature of the earth. Things would be lower than your eyes. To prove the earth is flat with no curvature, one time I had my friend Darren take this two foot tall red flag three miles away. Then I looked at it through high powered binoculars. I could still see it. If the earth was round, I never would have been able to see it due to the curvature of the earth. Just like you see in this drawing here. According to spherical trigonometry, the curve of the earth is eight inches squared per mile. So over the course of three miles, that's three squared, which equals nine multiplied by eight inches per mile equals 72. Then 72 divided by 12 equals six feet. Then six feet minus the fact that the flag was two feet tall equals four feet. So four feet is how much lower the top of the flag should have been if the earth was round. I never should have been able to see it, but I could see it because the earth is flat. Does that make sense? I thought I'd be able to erase it. I guess I need new cardboard now. They say the globe is spinning at a thousand miles an hour. If that were true, we would all fly off. And then they say, well, gravity is what keeps you on. Well, gravity isn't even a real thing, so it's not what keeps you attached to the globe. Gravity is just an anecdotal wet dream of Isaac Newton. You can't even prove that it exists. And that proves that it doesn't exist. Gravity was just a ploy to validate his false theory that the earth revolves around the sun. And we don't fly off the spinning globe because it's not spinning. And it's not a globe. Don't get me started on Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's an astronomer and astral physicist who thinks he can just jump on Twitter and use scientific calculations and evidence to prove the earth is round. I literally feel sorry for him because of how illogical he is. First of all, Neil, I don't even play music. Second of all, you misspelled the word dude. And the fact that you can't even spell simple words correctly completely discredits everything else you've ever said in your whole career. Third of all, you should never trust somebody who capitalizes the third letter in his second last name while uncapitalizing the first letter. He's a Freemason. I'll set you straight on this. The sun and the moon are the same size. The sun isn't 93 million miles away and 400 times bigger than the moon. They look the same size because they are the same size. It's the ultimate trickery. Wrap your head around that. The moon is actually a self-luminating translucent disk, not even made out of solid matter. And I'm offended if you think we ever actually landed on the moon. Magellan allegedly sailed around the world, circumnavigating it, if you will. That he was going in a giant circle the whole time, not going around the globe. From 1519 to 1521, the stupid son of a bitch was making a giant left-handed turn the whole time he was sailing. That's what made him think he was going around the world. He didn't even know how to sail in a straight line. 
That doesn't sound like a very good sailor to me. The only argument round earthers have is the line they always say, the earth is not flat. The easiest way to disprove this argument is to cross off the word not. So their theory that the flat earth theory is an incorrect theory is in reality easily disprovable. Think about it. The earth is not flat. The subconscious mind doesn't pick up negatives. So what round earthers are actually telling us is that the earth is flat. Checkmate, round earthers. Pictures of the earth from space are fabricated by NASA. They're full of irregularities because they keep trying to change how they want you to think the earth looks. Look at these two alleged pictures of the earth from space. They're completely different. Like, do they just think I'm so dumb that I wouldn't notice the irregularities? These photos are frauds put out by NASA. What's most wrong in this world is NASA, Copernicus, Galileo, and all their heliocentric propaganda. Copernicus was a Freemason, and so is everybody at NASA. And Freemasons want to keep you completely in the dark about what the true shape of the world is. Why would they want to fool you into thinking the Earth is round? I don't know. And that's why it's so scary. Be sure to flatten your world by subscribing to my YouTube channel.